Good evening, everybody, and welcome <clears throat> to Saturday evening prayer. And it's good that we can be together and just give thanks to God for another week. And today in the church's year, it's week 20 of Ordinary Time. And I'm going to be saying the traditional divine office of Vespers uh, for the fourth week of the Psalter. And I welcome Sister Sue, who's joined us. And for those who've not logged in, you're welcome. So let us begin by lighting a candle. And I feel inspired by my heart to pray for the little children of Aleppo, who recently were gassed by the army, President uh, Assad's army in Syria, leaving many little children struggling to breathe. And we pray that Father, Mother God will forgive him his many crimes, war crimes against his own people. So we light this light in reparation for the sins that are committed against the children of God by dictators, by terrorists. And we remember especially tonight the little defenseless children of Aleppo and the old people as well many of whom have no food or water and no medicines for pain. So we pray now that the Lord will touch the hearts of those who can help them and that the mighty nations of the world will rally and condemn these atrocities against little children. Our Saturday evening prologue of our brother and sister scenes of Mount Sinai reads, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the Heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teachings and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. And that's you and me, those of us who've surrendered our heart to God in service to Christ. Saturday evening we commune with the angel of life saying angel of eternal life descend upon me and give eternal life to my spirit as these words are said you contemplate union with the currents of thought of the superior planets and gains power to overcome the sphere of gravitation of earthly currents of thought. Let us begin with the Divine Office of Vespers and its week four of the Psalter. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our hymn this evening, Blessed be the Lord our God. With joy let heaven ring, before his presence let the earth its songs of homage bring. His mighty deeds be told, his majesty be praised. To God enthroned in heavenly light, let every voice be raised. All that has life and breath give thanks with heartfelt songs. To him let all creation sing to whom all praise belongs. Acclaim the Father Mother's love, who gave us God their Son. Praise to the Spirit given by both, with both forever one. And our first antiphon, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And our first reading is Psalm 121. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Let us pray the Gloria. 
Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And our second antiphon, excuse me, from the morning watch even until night, my soul is longing for the Lord. And now we read Psalm 129. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord, because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. In Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From the morning watch, even until night, my soul is longing for the Lord. And the third antiphon, let every creature in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. We now have a canticle reading from St. Paul to the Philippines. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking, excuse me, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed upon him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God our Father Mother. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let every creature in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. We have a short scripture reading now from 2 Peter, chapter 1, verses 19 to 20. So we are even more confident of the message proclaimed by the prophets. You will do well to pay attention to it, because it is like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the light of the morning star shines in your hearts. Above all else, however, excuse me, remember this, no one can explain by himself a prophecy in the scriptures. For no prophetic message ever came from the will of man, but men were carried along by the Holy Spirit as they spoke the message that came from God. This is the word of the Lord. Let us just stop for a moment and reflect on those words. The words of Jesus to our hearts. What are they saying to us? Well, the key word there is pay attention. Listen to the Lord. Allow your heart to be open and receive the messages of God in the silence of your heart. And our short response read, from the rising of the sun to its setting, great is the name of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to its setting, great is the name of the Lord. High above the heavens is his glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, great is the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, 
to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, from the rising of the sun to its setting, excuse me, great is the name of the Lord, and the Magnificat Antiphon, woman, your faith is great. Let it be done for you as you have asked. And now, my dear friends, I invite you to join me for the Magnificat, the Canticle of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Woman, your faith is great. Let it be done for you as you have asked. And now we come to our evening intercessions. Let us pray to Christ, who is the fullness, gives his brother's love in return for love. Response, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer tonight. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer tonight. First born from the dead, you have cleansed us from our sins by your blood. Lead us to understand what you have done for us. Response, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer tonight. You have called us to be heralds of the good news. Help us to enter the depths of its message and to make it our own. Response, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer tonight. King of peace, guide the actions of those who govern. May your spirit move them to care for those whom society rejects. Response, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer tonight. Guide the steps of those who are oppressed, those persecuted for race, color, religion, or lifestyle choice. Let their dignity be respected and their rights upheld. Response, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer tonight. Welcome all who have died in your peace. Bring them to everlasting life with Our Lady and all the saints. And here we remember our families, our friends and loved ones and neighbours who've crossed over and who are with the Lord, and we ask them to intercede for us. Amen. Response, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer tonight. And now, just for a moment in silence, let us just be still. And if anything is troubling us, or we are worried about someone we love and care about, or if someone has hurt us or injured us in any way, let us name it, let us bless it, and now let us release it to God in a spirit of mindful gratitude. Stand back and just say thank you, Lord. This evening, when we began our evening prayer, we remember the little children of Aleppo who were this week gassed by the armies under President Assad. Little children struggling for life with no medication, hardly any water and food, and just wearing the clothes that they're in. How appalling to see little children suffer so. So we pray tonight for an end to these atrocities or war crimes against the children of God. But we also remember our friends and family nearer to home, 
we remember Sister Sue and our dear friend Paul, who's having a lot of issues with his son Ben. Ben, who's unwell, both mentally and probably psychologically and emotionally unstable. So we ask the Lord Christ to lay his healing hand on Paul and on his son Ben. We also pray for James that he continues to make good progress. We pray for Sister Sue's daughter and granddaughter Beth and Sarah. We pray for all our families, for our friends in need. We also remember the brothers and sisters of our community, past and present. We remember all of those who've expressed an interest in joining us. And we pray for dear Lisa, who's joy, who's, will be here tomorrow. She's coming for lunch tomorrow to see us and hopes to enter the postulancy period on the Feast of St. Francis with Sheila from Dumfries and Galloway in Scotland. We pray also for dear sister Nancy. We remember brother Harry, who's having lots of issues at the moment. We pray for our prayer leaders, sister Eleanor and sister Sue. But let us just for a moment give thanks to God for the many gifts that we have received from God for the running water, for the food we, we are able to eat, food that is provided for us by the farmers, the clothes that we wear, electricity, for a good national health service, excuse me, that's free at the point of source, where we don't need extortionate insurance premiums to access good quality care. We are so blessed unlike the poor people of Aleppo who have nothing. So we pray now a prayer of gratitude and we give thanks to God as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here tonight our daily bread. Forgive us. Forgive us for the times when we have ignored you, for the times when we thought we knew better than you, for our stubbornness of heart, for our unwillingness to listen to your voice speaking to us, for the times when we walked away and gave lip service to you. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil, negativity and despair. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now for our closing prayer to Saturday evening Vespers. Lord God, you have prepared for those who love you what no eye has seen no ear has heard. Fill our hearts with your love, so that loving you above all and in all, we may attain your promises, which the heart of man has not conceived. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of Saturday Evening Vespers for week 20 of Ordinary Time. And now we finish with the Celtic blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day. And on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forevermore. Amen. As I blow out this flame, I ask the Lord Jesus to touch the hearts of those that we have held in prayer this evening. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we also remember Skip and those who take the trouble and the time 
to watch our videos from morning and evening prayer online. So namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di carita, salam alaikum, and may the peace of our God reign supreme in your heart this night. Amen. I wish you all a pleasant weekend, and I want to thank you for being here. And yes, Sister Sue, I hope to have a nice, quiet evening like you. So take care, and God bless you. Amen.